And we do that with Megan and I, especially, um, just to keep things lively, we will switch up the different dogs and get different opinions. And, and then, we do that with uh, as Megan and I, see a trend with a dog or something that we can't figure out right away, then we'll address Carlene with it and see what she thinks. Um, it's, it's not a bad thing to switch up like that. Hi, Steve. Um, by the way, before I forget, we need to talk today from evaluating uh, near traffic at Georgetown. Um, most of them um, have just little things, you know, that can be dealt with. None of them just stand right out as having real issues. So, out of eight dogs, that's that's pretty good. Must be doing something right. So the pokies come along, the older dogs are coming along really well. Um, I took a took um, pilot out today. Oh. Megan's had issues with pilot. Um, well, everybody's taking pilot out. Vomiting, like car sick. Car sick. So I made a chore of it over 30 minute period or whatever. Took our time, got into the car, she didn't start drooling, calmed her down, rubbed her, praised her, got in the car, drove, you know, like the water glass on the dash, real slow, and tried not to hit the bumps. Got all the way to Georgetown with just a little bit of drool, stopped, shut the car off, relaxed her again, tried to make the trip back, got back, they were playing with the donkey in the driveway. So I said, you know what? We've had this, but let's push it a little bit further. So I drove around the block here. Uh -huh. One more time and came back. Opened the door slow, rubbed her a little bit, no drool. Got right to the edge of the back of the Highlander and puked all over. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, you know, 97 went outside the car. I said, well, at least we got that far, I guess. But, uh, you know, she, progress. Yeah. I mean, usually she's right inside and you don't get two miles down the road. What's she throwing up at that hour, though? Uh, what? She had a dog biscuit and a little bit of food that you could tell had been in there a little while. Though. Oh, okay. um, because if you're taking her out in the middle of the afternoon and she's throwing up her breakfast? Yeah, yeah well, she no. you could tell it was pretty digest no, now. Okay. Um, but it's... The drool is just... But I got her to stop the drooling, so I figured, oh, I'm making progress here. She's not drooling anymore, so maybe she's calming down a little bit. But, didn't quite work that way. I probably shouldn't have pressed my luck with the last trip around the block. We'll get her, one way or the other. Uh, all right, uh, about Wrinkle. Wrinkle's just a fast eater. For, I see you missed it. Uh, just a fast eater. We're doing a bunch of things to see if we can get her to slow down a little bit. Um, but she's a good dog. I mean, on leash, off leash, she's, she's good. She just, boy, she loved her food. All right, you're up. Yep, I took a couple minutes of your time because we were in technical difficulties. <laughs> Well, I'm going to sit here because she's going to sit there because she ends up reading to me. Oh, okay. All right. Or somebody. What? Okay. Whatever. Do you want? I'm sitting here. <laughs> Steve has his own, don't you? Why don't you sit over there and Steve can read to me? That's good. First, I have to open the mail. Linda, is it back on? Yeah, it's online. I think one of the plugs was just not plugged in all the way. Right. <laughs> you, Lydia, you up there? You, you, no, go ahead. Okay. You haven't been here all afternoon. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I heard. You're off. You're off in time for me to miss all of those two speakers that are on the stage. Okay, right and happy. 
bright and happy bots. I need those today. <laughs> Carly volunteers, staff trainers, and dames. Thank you for making the world a better place to live in. The Patton family. Hello. Oh, we got a bunch of things in here. I'm going to get the bank out. Oh, my. In addition to chicken bricks purchased on your site, we would like to add additional dollars to your many departments. A coin dollar for your, huh, for the dollar up. Isn't that interesting? I haven't seen one of those in a long time. A coin dollar. We'll put, that, we'll put that in the bottom of the bag thing. There we go. <laughs> Are we getting, are we getting the uh, coin dollars now? Yep. All right. Five dollars for the square bear. All right. Yes. Yes, there's a square bear. Here's a square bear. Ten for the fun fun and ten for one chicken brick. You pick. Okay, so I can put that in here. And then that goes in here. And here's the chicken brick. One chicken brick. What? What? Oh, what's so funny? He needs to be out front and center. Just don't want him blocking Olivia, that's all, you know. <laughs> okay. This is a chicken brick. <coughs> oh, if, they, if we win it, we'll figure out who they are. There, put that in. The, hey, wait, gee, wait, wait, come on, I can Some call? Oh. There, that goes in the chicken brick department. The chicken brick department. And then this is all yours. There we go. Chicken brick department. We're off and running. All right. Like a turd of hurdles. You got it. <coughs> so the farmer says to his wife, he says, have you noticed that the uh, horse and the pig have been spending a lot of time together? I wonder if they're, you know, fooling around. The wife says, well, do you think we should do something about it? He says, no, I think it's a stable relationship. <laughs> I had a good one to tell you, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, come on now. I know. I can't even remember where I got it from. I'll put this down here. Those are there. And this is from Bloomingdale Avenue, Catonsville, Maryland. And that's all I know. Well, I didn't write anything on here, I don't think. No. And they took their name off the... Okay, so we're on the next one. <laughs> What's a bill? Oh, I don't even open it. No, this is the bill for the kerosene we use in the house. In the guest oh, house. oh, oh, okay. That, that's important. We don't use too much of it. It's going to be a couple months left. <laughs> okay, so that's $800. We use a lot here in the house because we've got two two heaters on it, mm -hmm. and we got one heater in the guest house. Well, what's the third one? We don't use it anymore. Be for the generator? No, the generator's on gas. Well, this is kerosene. I thought you said this is gas. I'm sorry. You know, suppose they filled up the one of the arena again. Okay. <laughs> no. I don't know. They wouldn't do that. Oh, geez. This is another one of those details you better figure out. Mm -hmm. it's, it's got, what, 700 gallons in the arena that we could get out, we could use it. Well, it's got location numbers. I don't know what they respond, refer right. to. The... Amen. Just like the other one, but it's a different location. 
Open that one. Okay. All life is just so confusing. Let's have to go someplace else too. There we go. Wanda. Leandra, Texas. Harold and Wanda. No, it says Wanda. Just, just Wanda? Wanda? It says just Wanda. What happened to Harold? I don't know. Maybe he sent a different envelope. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe they're doing individual envelopes now. Well, let's delete Jimmy Bean sausages. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting how we can tell what people's diets are by the, by the pictures they see. Right. Good thing I'm not sending any out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a borgish morgue that would be. This is from Wanda also. Really? No Harold. All right. Let's check up on that. You being the great Karnak? Yeah. Going into the envelope? I'm just checking. There's Jimmy Dean. <clears throat> huh. There are certain things that are not in... Hey! There are certain things that are not in here. I'm just letting you know. Okay. <laughs> just in case. Here we have C.W. Smith. Warden, New Jersey, maybe? That was this one. Where is he from? And closed is twenty dollars to cover two chicken, three chicken ribs. I'm really enjoying the trainer talks and then picking up some good tips. Best wishes to you at Crazy Acres, Connie Smith, Lucy Lou. Thank you, Lucy Lou. Thank you. And that's two chicken bricks in that your department, and then you stick this one. Everybody at Crazy Acres, this will be short. I have writer's block today. Love watching everything you guys do at the farm with the Danes. Keep up the good work. Yay, less than 40 words. <laughs> 25 words or less are very at any rate. Your laser printer knows, knows when you're in a hurry. Oh, no. <laughs> Weird law in Massachusetts. Exploding golf balls are not allowed. First time violators be fined up to $500. Huh. You never know what's under a rock until you pick it up. That's pretty good. North Carolina playing a single bingo game for 75 hours is illegal. <laughs> okay. I moved to North Carolina. I must wonder about that immediately. Okay. All oh, right. There we go. What? I was just checking to see if we had a box. We have a box. We have a box. We have a big box. A large box. A big box. A large box. Here we have. Okay, there's another applicant. Huh. He's six foot no inches tall. <laughs> six foot no Does that mean he's five feet twelve inches? That'd be good. There you go. That'd be good. Six foot two, solid blue. Okay, I did that. Package. Package time. Did we put the five dollars in the square bear? Yes, we must. Yes, I did. Bentley's good boy. Excuse me. Little boy depressed. If you put that one there, I'm not going to be able to see the time. I was going to say maybe one of you guys saw. Okay, we do that. Hold on, I'll open it. Watch fingers. Oops. What are you doing? Dropping my other knife into the uh okay. 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 
shoveling things, spatulas and stuff. Wow. Okay, I'm ready. No, I'm not. I don't have any water. Water? Not any water. Right here. Water. Oh. This is mine? Wait a minute. I got it. Oh. That's not mine. Who's is that? That might be mine. Oh, well, this could be yours, because that's not mine. Would you like to get one? I have one somewhere. I got it. You know, I just got my wool coat clean, and I came in and patted rye, and it looks like mohair now. <laughs> ah, well. Such is life. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Where are we going? I'm trying to tell if they lost the camera again. No, it's on. Camera's on. All right. All right. So, let's go back a little bit. Um, well, let me tell you what happened all well, that. Well, yeah, why don't you while tell you us look, what happened? While, while you look back. We had quite the afternoon with oh, yeah, power I had a, issues. I had a very I'm very bad answer. Well, part of it I can't tell you about, but a lot of it I can. I was sitting in my chair in there, tipped back, that, that one that, you know, that electric chair mm -hmm. goes back. Yeah. And then they pulled the power. So now I'm flat on my back in this chair, and the phone rings, and I don't have a phone, so I have to get up. Out of, so it's one of these turtle on the back deals. You know? <laughs> got over that one. And finally I get out there and find out what's going on. And they're putting the two gas big things, tanks, you know, tanks yeah. right next to my bed. 
And now and I don't like them anyway. Was that a temporary storage place, or was that where they were going to locate them? That's where they were going to locate them. And furthermore, no. it stuck out. <laughs> it stuck out just a little bit. So when I went around the house, I've already hit the house <laughs> more than once. <laughs> to have those tanks where I could hit them was just not. It was not. Going that to was happen. not a good situation. So I go out and I say, you can't have them here. And this guy says, that's where they are. I said, well, no, we're going to have to move them over there. Well, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, then they had to be 10 feet from the thing they already put out there, the generator, and they dug this huge hole by hand. So I really didn't have enough nerve to tell them to move that thing. So now I've had to cut into where the puppies are out there. So we had to take down the dog fence, so we put these two gas tanks out there. But the puppies will have room. They, they, they can go out immediately down the hill on the sort of part of the A field, so yeah. it's not bad. But it's, it was very colorful for a while. I can imagine. But in the meantime, they shut off the, ga the, the electricity here, and, and therefore I couldn't watch the guy get mad at Trump. What's his name? Um, Romney. Romney. I couldn't see Romney's speech. And it came on, they, they came in here and they turned us all on and they spent a lot of time getting our television back working and things like that. And then they went outside for a little while again and Romney's speech was over by then. <laughs> we're all waiting for Trump to arrive, right? And we're sitting there waiting for Trump to arrive and guess what they did? They pulled the plug on us again. <laughs> So, so I never got to, it's been an active answer. I just, I just knew when they were just trying to aggravate you. I just wanted to see those two guys, well, on earth, but uh, I just can't mm -hmm. figure this out. Uh, okay. Maybe that was the joke I was supposed to tell you. Oh. Yeah, okay. Okay. Trump got in to be president, and so he was in wherever he is in the house there and he has a ghost of a of Washington who comes and says something and Washington says oh, Trump says to him how could I be a good president and Washington says well you must always tell the truth and Trump doesn't say anything and so he goes back to sleep or whatever and then Jefferson comes in I forgot what Jefferson told him to do this could be critical though so I know I forgot what he told him to do. Jefferson and whatever, and then he goes back to sleep, and Abraham Lincoln comes in, and he says, what can I do to be a good president? He says, go to the theater. <laughs> oh. I didn't make it up. Somebody else said it to me. Okay. I thought it was, I laughed. No, that was, that was pretty good, but, but. That's the best I can do today. <coughs> well, that, was, that was pretty good. That was that pretty good. Bad. Um, well, aside from the fact that somebody sent me a whole, sent me a note about, oh, that was the Daily Doggy, about all the political signs that are up along the highway. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take them down and make shit pickers out of them. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was appropriate, too. Well, yeah. All right. Anyway, I think we should refrain from political comment until well, after you, the election. Political comments are fine as long as you knock them all. That's the thing. Yeah. Just hit them all. Hit them all. There you go. All right. Um, yes, hi, Jenny. Don't drool on my laptop, please. Don't drool on my laptop. You can drool on my lap, but not on my laptop, okay? Good boy. It's a good boy. Good boy. All right. Uh, Frenzy is in the sunroom and snoring very loudly. I kind of lost place here because of the power issue there. Oh, he's a good boy. He's good. He's going to shove me across the room. <laughs> We have a couple of jokes they want us to tell, but since they've already all seen them, I'll tell them to you after. <laughs> okay. Um, um, and Blue Penguin sent me one, which I have to go back and find in a few minutes. And I will. Um, and they're asking about Harold, and we haven't... Harold is still here and fine. Just had some spare pickers and needed to get them in the mail. 
<laughs> well, we're glad to hear that Harold's okay, and thank you for the spare pickers. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> thank you, Wanda. <laughs> People were concerned about Harold. <laughs> That's great. I was concerned about Harold. I was too. I mean, uh, uh, usually the things there that aren't weren't there. They, they come in pairs every day. It's like, you, you know, it's one of those fixtures that you need to. All right. Well, even the contents of the pickers were different. <coughs> you know, I usually I read these pickers like I can tell how they're feeling down there. Mm -hmm. There were some pickers that weren't there. To Okay. Well, those are spares, so those this spares. is okay. Is that right? Um, someone made a comment about why would anyone want to use exploding golf balls? <laughs> um, I know. They're a joke thing, but whatever. Uh, Peg says, I'm glad you like the pans. Pans are wonderful. Yeah, she loves them, believe me. Really? Yeah. Um, I'm sure we'll have a great time with them. You're going to be cooking up a storm now. Well, we have a new system. You want to hear about it? Um, no. Toria says the turtle on the back thing was pretty fun. You like <laughs> Go right ahead. I had to say that one, Dave. Well, now what was I going to say? <coughs> oh, I know. I have a new system now. I bought a book about dump, <coughs> dump dinners. Oh, no. Okay. Just, you know, like four or five items, you throw them in a pan and you stick it in the oven. Oh, okay. Um, so I now have a new routine around here. Now I read the dump dinners and so does Grace, and we decide what we're going to have for dinner. Then I go out to the store, and I i don't think in my life I have ever been on a, a one-mission deal. And the multitask, mm -hmm. I'm always multitasking, multitasking. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, this business of having to go to the store and buy, say, four items, and only four items, is totally new to me. <laughs> and very enjoyable. So, <laughs> so I go... <laughs> I go and buy whatever's on my list from this dump dinner book, and I bring it back, and then somebody else unloads it, because it might be heavy, and then Donna cooks it, and she leaves it for us to be able to warm it up for dinner, okay. as we do mail calls. Mm -hmm. So that's the schedule that's supposed to happen now. So I'm glad we have some more pans. we have a better dinner part. So are we having dump dinner tonight? Yes, we are. Okay. I'm not going to ask the ingredients. It would be a surprise. It certainly will be. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> okay. Well, the first, the first one we had, we had to, we had to have Donna experiment in how you put rice and or noodles in an oven and how long it takes for them to absorb the moisture and actually be cooked. Because if you're going to start one of these globs mm -hmm. at the beginning of mail call, do you have to start it a little early or? You know, mm -hmm. so she she did all that experimenting. So it now seems to be about forty five minutes. But how do you decide? I'm just curious because how do you decide what things? Because if you have things that need to be cooked at different lengths of time, how do you? You don't plan that way. You don't you plan. Just plan it. You so just they all do go it. In the pot at all the right. Time. Okay. When we take our chances. Okay. Right. First one to get sick after gets a prize. Is that it? Right. Okay. Well, well right. you, you concentrate on getting the meat done. Oh, good. <laughs> That's a good thing. Okay, we can do that. You know, if you're going to have potatoes in there, and the meat's only going to take, say, 45 minutes mm -hmm. or something, you're going to slice the potatoes up. Yeah. yeah. You know, there's a whole there's art a method to it. to it. Okay. All right, there's an art to it. All right. All right, I, I'll buy that. Um, <laughs> you want to know what's in it? Oh, you. you're on a roll. Hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. What we're having tonight is... Okay, go ahead. Lasagna soup. <laughs> lasagna soup? Lasagna soup. Grace picked it out. And the thing that really flattened me was five ounces of condensed milk. <laughs> I have no idea, but it's all in the pot out there cooking. Like I said, you staying for dinner tonight? <laughs> you well, are now. <laughs> well, you know, when you have lasagna, you've got all that cheese in there. Yeah. So you do have some milk, but it, that it, that was in the recipe, so I bought it. Okay. And I think they we'll go, the we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Um. Does the kitchen have a large cooktop or just that plate? 
I have a. We have a stove top. Yeah, it's just usually covered with dog dishes. <laughs> I mean, give me a break. <laughs> I threw out the regular stove, oven stove thing that people usually have. Uh, and I, it's a Gen Air. Gen Air. Mm -hmm. A little slack thing. Mm -hmm. So I have two two burners there and the grill thing. But the grill thing is always, it's covered with dog dishes. I mean, that's where you dry the dog dishes. <laughs> It's so you're in a battle area. to get yourself the two two burners, um, and then I have, I have those portable things that I put on this, <laughs> so I can sit and look at them while I cook. Yep. We're going to keep those because those are valuable. From the wet dog food. From the wet dog food. And do. We... What was that? I gave two bunches to my daughter, and she took them to North Carolina. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Are we going to see those on the news sometime? Maybe. Could be. But we, I don't know. We may take a bunch to, to the fire station when we go. With the, with the oh, I'm sure we they'll be happy about them. that. We, we, we use 15 or 20 a day. I know. I know. And they they sell those little plastic <laughs> things. And, I mean, just like them. You know who would love those things? Are schools like elementary, schools? Yeah, elementary and kindergartens? They would love those for one day. One day is fit in a, in a in a garbage bag. So mm -hmm. we do. You have to dry them. You have to really wash them with soap, mm -hmm. and then you dry them not squished together, but on their sides, so yeah. that they do get dry. dry but if you they don't, do. then they're and really they stick. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, no, they get smelly and horrible. Oh, oh well, that's it. No, so okay. you got to get them dry. So you leave them on their sides. You leave them on the on the Gen Air. Grill. <laughs> <laughs> well, should we turn the exhaust panel off too? Right, right. Okay. Yeah. But after you've got them good and dry, then they fit in a, a bag very nicely, and they can be a very nice thing to take and give somebody fun. Two, twenty-five, thirty, fifty, one time. <laughs> okay. They are good. But no, I'm serious. Those screws would love those screws, things. Screws, wrenches, nuts, and bolts. You know, yeah, I mean, it's a lot. Just for little craft things and to you keep throw balls in. into them and see whether you can make a game out. You know, there's a lot of oh, stuff. You would. <laughs> The carnival. We should sell them to the carnival. carnival. There we go. Okay. <coughs> Someone says they see you wearing, oh, Diane Crisotti says she sees you wearing a special glove on her hand, and does that help? That's your golfing glove. But oh, go ahead. No, it's not. <laughs> Somebody sent me this thing, and I liked it. Is that one of those isoflex? It is. Yeah. Isotoner? Isotoner, yeah. Those are great. Really, it's very nice. Has, has it helped? It keeps the dogs from spitting on my wrist. <laughs> Has it helped your wrist? Does it feel better? It still hurts. It still hurts. Well, it's going it's it's to take a while. It's, it's better than wrapping the whole thing in but duct tape or something else. This is true. An anti-drool glove is good, though. That's good around here. I only wear the one. I only wear it on my desk here somewhere. Okay. Oh, here it is. Right here. You want it? No. I don't need it. That one doesn't need it. I'll leave it here. Okay. Um... <laughs> Yes, we're glad that Harold is okay. <clears throat> How is Merle? Merle's? Is there something going on with Merle? Tail? Is that the one with the tail? I don't know. Hey, yeah. Grace? Yeah, what? Merle with tail? Merle? Is she okay? She's okay. I wrapped it for a little while, but I didn't. What happened to it? Happy tail. Oh, okay. Oh, poor Merle. She pulled it off already? Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Somebody sent me a very complicated mm -hmm. thing for a happy tail. We could never in a million years do it, but it was funny. You wrap the tail, and then you put a wrapping or something, a piece of sheet, around their waist, if you will. You know, just in front of their leg, front of their back legs. Mm -hmm. And then you take the tail and tie it underneath the dog. If I was a dog, that would drive me crazy. Ian, it doesn't that affect their peeing? Huh? Doesn't that affect their peeing? Yeah, a little bit. A lot, I would think. <laughs> it's one of those things that it would be all right if you had one dog and you could deal with it. Yeah, yeah. But you couldn't put them in a kettle and see what happened. No. Because they, they, they well, really, I'll go down and check. But the concept was interesting. It, it Take is. Take the tail and put I, it underneath. Yeah. I, I, whatever, okay. Um, I'll go down and check on Merle after. I didn't know that that was an issue with her. Oh, <clears throat> oh yeah, here's the joke that... Uh, this is the joke that Blue had posted, and Trout just posted it again. What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? I don't know. One is heavy, and the other is a little lighter. 
<laughs> I didn't. That wasn't okay, mine. Now you want to know where I was going with that? What? I was. I thought Zippo. I'm thinking. Oh, Zippo lighter. A little Zippo. Yeah, no. Okay. Um, Sandy, Sandy Flora says she has her glove on today as well. Okay. Um, are there a lot? Are there a lot of good recipes in the dump in the dump dinner book? I can't believe there's the a dump one, dinner book. Now, well, I don't know. We'll look, this is our second night on the dump dinner. Um, the first night it was chicken thighs on rice with honey mustard. Mm, that sounds good. It was good. Yeah. And a couple other things. Not many. Oh, what? Uh, cream of mushroom soup, maybe? Ooh. Well, for your chicken like soup. No, but cream of chicken would be good. Celery. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was fine. Sounds good. If you put rice in the bottom, you have to, with rice, the water's rice. So you have to make sure that you provide enough <laughs> fluid for the rice to take right. it up. Right. But so far, so good. But if you have soup in there, you can put like half soup and half water or something like that. That work. Yeah, you've got to take that, that into consideration. Interesting. That was like, there was there was a book out, and I, I saw this several years ago, about about cooking on your car engine while yes. you were driving and wrapping the food in foils and different kinds of things and, and telling you how far you had to drive to cook certain types of food. Right. Did you ever hear of this? No. Oh, it's a the riot. Oh, the Mythbusters so did it. Oh, did they really? They did a Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, my God. Is that I mean, right? They, you know, <laughs> oh, that was that was very funny. Apparently, it worked. I guess I don't know. Start from when you leave work. By the time you get home, your dinner's all done. You just <laughs> um, um, Shrove says, "Give the containers to art teachers. We love them." Nice. Yeah. Um, Toria says she just made lasagna soup last week. It's the best. Hope See, there you, you go. Hope, hope you have some good, good Italian bread with butter handy. <laughs> I don't know about that part. Oh. It didn't tell me to buy bread. I didn't do it. All right. B. Short from Virginia says she's being brave because you're out of slap range. But <laughs> what are the ingredients in tonight's dinner? She's seriously interested. <laughs> Where's the book? Uh, does Grace know? Grace did it. I think Donna did it. Oh, Donna did it? To be doing it. We're trying to, see, I'm trying to give, give Grace, Grace has been trying to get the cooking and everything else done. No, I'm trying to get organized. So yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there was, you break up a bunch of lasagna. There was a condensed milk. There was canned tomatoes, you know, collapsed tomatoes, whatever they are, crushed. Crushed tomatoes. Crushed tomatoes. I can't remember the rest. No. Isn't that bad? That's terrible. That's the way it goes. Well, we'll we'll figure it out and we'll post it afterwards. <laughs> you can find the book. The book's in the other room, I think. Um, okay, now I'm going to think about where I went in the store. Peg, Peg McCabe has milk instead of cheese with question marks. So you're substituting cheese with milk. the milk. Well, Parmesan cheese on top, they didn't say that, but I had, didn't have to buy that. So we had the, <laughs> well, that's we good. Had onions. Because you've heard about some of the. Um, uh, good afternoon. Hello. It is chilly out. You've heard about some of the Parmesan cheeses. No. You haven't heard this on the news? It's been in the news for about two weeks now. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. That's the dump there. Okay. Hello, Benny. How are you? How are you guys? Hello. Marvelous. Cold. Cold. Hello. Want to crawl into the fireplace? Yeah, it's cold out. <laughs> we have lasagna soup for supper around here. Lasagna <laughs> soup. <laughs> they wanted to know what was in it. I need sausages. Ooh, oh, there they, you go. Take it out of the wrapping. Um, Chicken stock, uh, noodles, evaporated milk. Tori has posted a video to make it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gretchen, easy there, dear. Um, oh, there was a <laughs> hey. Hey. Gretchen, stop. <laughs> oh, is the soup ready? What? Is the soup ready? I 
Parmesan cheese, what, what they found is some of the brands that are being sold, especially in stores like Walmart, places like that. Oh, jeez. Stop it! There are a very high percentage of wood. Yeah. And, and some, of the, some of them had no Parmesan cheese in them at all. Oh, I usually buy the one kind. Blue Penguin says you can use little containers to hold crayons for teachers. Crayons are very good. There you go. You should grab some for my RT, our, our teacher in our school. Um, how's Bentley today? This is the first we've had him in the house. He's been in the house backwards. I took, that was the other exciting thing. One of the new volunteers here built me a new ramp for Bailey. And oh. she walked right up that ramp until she had a car ride today. Oh, in, in the car. Oh, nice. Yes. Nice. <coughs> Very good. How did she do in the car? Fine. If she was okay? She likes it. Yeah. You know, you could put some in a microwave to heat it up. <laughs> oh, is it cooked? Yeah. Good. Oh, it's pretty good. Is it good? Yeah. Good. Well, you can tell. You know, there's thousands of people listening to you. And watching you. And too. you're eating right in front of them. <laughs> right now. Turn, turn just a little bit. Then you, there you there go. There you go. Now, you're, now they're looking at you eat it. Mm -hmm. It's good? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> what does it look like? Looks like, uh, looks like a lot of it goes on. Oh, my word. Okay. <laughs> I was mentioning something about Megan made Oreo balls. I don't know about that part. I don't know. She, they do this she said they look good. They're going to try it. I didn't hear that. The dogs. Do they bark at just me, or do they just? No, they, they, they bark at everybody. Right. A lot of it is her. She can't hear. So when the other one starts in, that's enough to get it going. All right. Here's a question. And Janine, since you're here, you can you may be able to answer this as well. Um, Maggie is asking. She said, "You mentioned the difference in the tails of a donkey versus you mentioned the difference in the tails of a dog of a dog donkey versus mule." mule. Okay. It's just repeated. Can you let us know what the difference is? Basically. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> a mule is much fluffier. A mule has a horse tail, usually. Okay. And a donkey has a donkey tail, which the, the tailbone is covered with hair, but covered with short hair. Short hair, and then it gets fluffy at the end. Fluffy at the bottom. Yeah. Versus okay. the mule is, has the same Like a zebra horse. tail, huh? And difference yeah. in size, too. Correct or no? no. I mean, a mule's bigger or no? Mules could be any size. I had really? to, I, I gave that lecture. You obviously didn't read that one. Because if you breed a donkey to a baby pony, I mean to a pony, you're going to get a big, tiny mule. That's true. That's true. If you breed it to a draft horse, you're going to get a big draft horse mule. Okay, that's true. That's true. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Got to watch it. <laughs> I'm really busy this week. Um, did you guys notice that Sir Bentley seemed to be weary when, bark when the barking started? Um, I'm inclined to yell at them all. Yeah, I don't think he's weary. I think he's just... No, he may have because I, yeah. I've been yelling at them for doing that. Oh, okay. See, when I yell, he just thought I was yelling at him. I'm oh. <laughs> that is a good boy. You yeah, good. he's a good boy. You, you were not barking. I just didn't like to have that. That, that, that is a bad barker. Get those kids in line, Bentley. All right. Hey, Janine. Yeah? I have another question for you. Did you get under the donkey to check for the milk bag? No, I did, mean, I did, yes. You did. Anything yet? Not ready to pop. Not ready to pop yet. No, we got a long way to go. 
Long way to go. Okay. It is pregnant. It's exciting. Confirmed. Confirmed. Okay. That came by said that starting to be pregnant. Well, he took a blood sample and they said that it came out of a pregnant animal. <laughs> as long, as, long okay. as he didn't get the samples mixed up with somebody. I was gonna, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I bet you can go to your guess? How come, how come when we said they rescued her in June? Yeah, you for some reason had her checked in June. Did you down there? Is that the one or was that a different one? No, that was one? a different one. Oh, different one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why is the gestation period for donkey? Year. A year. <laughs> That's why I say. So the she'll have it before August then. She was in a kill oh, yeah. pen and usually, well, she was probably exposed to boys in you know, June, July. She could be exposed to the kill pen too. Yep. In the kill pen, was she in with horses or other donkeys or everything? With with everything? Seventy-nine other donkeys. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> that narrows it down. <laughs> Might, huh? not necessarily. More likely a donkey, I guess, than anything else. Yeah. Right? The probability went up there, but yeah, but not not one hundred percent. Interesting. No idea what's going to come out of that. So. Yeah. No, but it's good. Huh? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. But you know, down well, in I Texas. Didn't tell you that. I, I didn't. I couldn't hear what you said. What you said? The blood test could tell you, that, right? Could tell you what? Whether it's a mule or a donkey. No. No. Well, I mean, I suppose you'd go DNA and all that stuff, but no. Um, the University of Texas has that seventeen-hand donkey. Seventeen-hand donkey. That they do inseminate, use, you know. If she came out of a donkey, a legitimate donkey farm, yeah, she, she might be bred to that one. Yeah. That would be a seventeen-hand mule. Yeah. That would be wow. nice. Well, not a lot of mammoth donkeys in that in that shoot that I saw. Really? No. So hmm. I don't think it was Okay, next. Yeah, it wasn't like the there was a breeder of mammoth donkeys dumping a bunch more of donkeys at the kill pen. It was like she was one of the only mammoths in that lot. Mary down in Florida. Hi Mary. Says uh that Mia ran to the bedroom with all the barking going on. <laughs> oh, okay. She's heard, she heard it in Grant, yeah. Um, how is Merle's paw? Someone said she was limping this morning. I don't know. Okay, we'll check oh, on yes, that. Oh, I, yes, I, I saw that. I, I didn't hear any more about it. Okay. She seemed okay when I saw her this she afternoon. She was standing against the fence with one in the air, but that's because she forgot to put it down. You know. Okay, yeah, that doesn't mean it's her. Um, Terry White Miller says, breed a female donkey to a male horse and get a, a, a henny, a hiney? Henny? Henny. That, that's dead picky. Breed a male donkey with a female horse and get a mule. What's a henny? Henny is the other com combination. Do they look different? I guess they look. Not particularly. Not particularly. All right, so we know what dinner is, but the more important question is, what's dessert and will there be whipped cream? No. 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 Somehow, after that accident thing, I've gained over 10 pounds. <laughs> so we have to stop with this comfort food routine. Oh, someone says she hit the fence with her paw. Well, she's walking on it fine now. Yeah, she seemed okay this afternoon, but I, I'm going to get out and check her tail when I get out to the barn anyway, and then I'll, I'll check her. You already pulled the bandage off. No, I know, but I'll just take a look at it. And just, I'm just curious to look at it. And I'll, look, I'll check her paw. She's got a cut in it, that's all. Yeah. And don't get in a wagon because that no, would make know, it worse. I know, I know. <laughs> it's better if you just leave her alone. Um, yeah, Carlene doesn't eat dump cake, dump cake recipes, I think. Do you? Or do you? Dump cake? Dump cake. Or are they in the book? I don't know. I've got, no, I didn't see any in the book. Oh, we'll check. Maybe this we dump, do. This is dump dinners. Oh, that's dump dinners, and we do need dump cake recipes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Does that mean Carleen doesn't want coconut cake covered in white chocolate? <laughs> that's right. I, well, I do want it, but oh, I'm yeah. not going to have that. Yeah. I, I, we, are we done yet? Um, okay. <laughs> We're done. Good night. Goodbye. See you. Thank you all. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> oh, you crack me up. <laughs> All right, let me go get you some quick. <laughs> right, okay. Okay, we're shutting off the mic. Shutting off the mic. Good night, all. Good night.